kysymys, jonka esitän tässä Maritalle. Kuka laulaja on myynyt eniten levyjä, siis koko maailmassa, 90-luvulla? Ei ole minkäänlaista havaintoa, mutta ehdotan nyt näitä megatähtiä. Sanotaan Madonna tai Michael Jackson. Jotain tämän, tämän Joo, niin minäkin olisin vastannut tähän kysymykseen, mutta ei pidä paikkaansa. No, Nimittäin maailman tällä hetkellä suosituin laulaja, uskokaa, on yhdysvaltalainen country-tähti Garth Brooks. Hänen kuutta levyään on myyty tässä muut kolmen viime vuoden aikana noin 40 no. miljoonaa kappaletta. Niin, ja hänen Euroopan kiertueensa päättyi Tukholmaan, me kävimme häntä haastattelemaan. Kolmekymmentäkaksi vuotias Scott Brooks on Yhdysvalloissa tällä hetkellä suurempi tähti kuin kukaan muu. Hän on noussut vauhdilla myyntitilastojen ykköseksi, joka meille eurooppalaisille tekee vielä tuloa. Brooksin musiikki ei ole perinteistä countrya, vaan siinä on mukana elementtejä niin rockista kuin popista. You know, I've heard it described that way. If I have my choice, it's country music. I fly under the flag of country music. That's what I do. And the fact that it does have some pop or rock elements in it, you know, jazz has some rock elements and pop elements in it too, so the blues, so uh, we all share a little bit from each other. Brooksin musiikin ja menestyksen juuret ovat tiukasti Yhdysvalloissa. Häntä ei siksi juurikaan haittaa tieto siitä, ettei häntä tunneta Euroopassa. Well, it doesn't bother me in the fact that we've got 2,500 radio, states, uh, radio stations in the U.S. alone that does country music. You know, I think I have seen two on this whole European tour so far that does country music, you know, and that's solely what they do. One of them is less than uh, probably two months old. So uh, it doesn't bother me. If country music had as many stations as rock and pop did, you know, across the seas, I think that the whole world would be feeling what the states are right now about country music and the fact that it's, it's a very popular format there. Toki tieto Brooksin musiikista leviää vauhdilla myös Eurooppaan. Ihailijoita tuntuu riittävän kaikkialla. I've never had that problem really in the States. People have always been very respectful. Uh, they allow Sandy and Taylor and I to have our privacy and have our family life. What's been real cool here though is walking the streets here and have people come up and recognize you. I mean, it's neat. It's like, wow, I never would have thought it. Uh, Madrid was a big shock. Um, Oslo yesterday was a big shock. It was fun. Ireland, you know, Ireland, I felt like more people knew me there than I do at a family reunion at home. I mean, they were, they were all cool there. So it's been, it's been surprisingly flattering. Läheisyys yleisön kanssa on Brooksille tärkeää. Hän ei halua toisin kuin monet muut megat suoja-aitoja tai turva-alueita itsensä ja yleisönsä välillä. We don't have, uh, we've got, what is, what is the country people, man? We just got the country fans or the friends. And uh, they've always taken care of me. So, I have never ever been scared to be in the people and with the people. I mean, I've been I've been pulled into an audience. I've been it's but when you do, even the hands that are on you feel like they're taking care of you and you don't feel scared. I've been pinned up against the bus with five or six policemen and about 800 people and never once was scared about it because I knew all they wanted to do was the same thing I want to do, is stick out my hand and say thanks. You know, and it's, it's, it's a cool change between them and, and, our, and us. Maailmalla tullut suurmenestys ei ole noussut Brooksille päähän, eikä hän ole röyhkeä tai ylimielinen. Well, thanks. Um, I don't know, man. I just, uh, I don't think I got that much or anything to be arrogant about. Uh, I'm just a guy that does music, a guy that's full of flaws, and the people seem to oversee that, and they let it go. So, uh, I'm not fooling anybody with knowing that, you know, I'm losing my hair and I, I got more chins than I want to have, so I'm just me, you know. Vielä hetkeksi Tukholman tuulesta tyynempiin sisätiloihin puhumaan perheestä, joka on Brooksille yli kaiken. How's your wife feeling? She's going to have a baby very soon. Yeah. She's doing real good. Uh, yeah, I talk to her every night. I want to come off stage. Yeah. Doc says uh, she's right on line for next week. She's been having contractions. She had a period about three hours where the contractions were five minutes apart about a week ago. And then it scared us we were getting flights home, trying to get home as soon as we could, and they stopped. And uh, she went to the doc and said she's fine, she's just getting antsy. So how does it feel to be here while, while she's there? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm totally neglecting my husband and, and father duties right now. But it wasn't planned like this. The Taylor and, and Sandy were supposed to be with us. The pregnancy uh, came after we had planned all this stuff. So we didn't plan on the second. 
So she's doing a lot of this by herself. Probably most of it more than the first one by herself. So uh, I got a lot of making up to do when I get home. We've got the NBC special that airs May 6th. I'll be doing all kinds of promo for that, trying to stay in Nashville to do that while the baby's coming. So it seems like it's all coming at the same time. But after that, uh, you know, hopefully I'll, I'll, um, it'll be time to, to settle down and, and try and be a partner to her and make up for the time that, I, that I've been away from her this year. You already know that your baby's going to be a girl. Yeah. Why did you want to know? Well, we, we want to know, one, for the people that send us gifts. I mean, with Taylor, we were actually running half of one of our semis at, on every, every weekend we'd go out to be filled with the toys and stuff because people were sending them in. So people want to know what it is so they can send things and know what her name is so they can monogram stuff. And so uh, that's cool. I, I like it better myself because I can prepare, you know, for it too. So we've been uh, making to August room up, her baby room. Taylor out of the crib, getting Taylor now into a bed, you know, before the baby ever comes. So uh, I like it better that way. You're going to have your last concert here in Europe this evening. When shall we see you here again? Uh, Europe will see us again probably in November. We really want to, to let this part of the world know that we're very serious about Jerry. We want to solidify it. Then we're going to take 95 off to build the new show, the big show that will go around the world, hopefully starting in late 95 or 96. And then shall we maybe see you in Finland as well? Yeah, I mean, I don't know why not. I mean, we'll go there, we'll play our music, and if, if the people dig it, great, we'll be back. And if not, we've been there and we've, we've, we've done our crusade and, and the people have made their choice. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, Tom. Thank you.